Do you still want a physical copy of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but you're just having the darndest time pre-ordering it online or even at local retailers? I understand. After all, we talked about how there might only be one run of the game. I'm presuming Nintendo's going to have more than one run. Uh, they said we were going to get physical copies and digital all the way through March 31st, but you know, I don't know. I've heard from other friends in the retail industry uh, that even their second shipment is confirmed, but the third isn't. Something like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Things are really up in the air, but you could still get your hands on a physical copy of this on launch day. And I'm going to tell you how. It, 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 it's mind-blowingly obvious, but people are kind of like panicking because they went to pre-order and they can't. Well, here's what you got to do. After I tell you about our giveaways, I know the suspense, everyone. Uh, but hey, we are actually giving away three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, actually. Uh, the winners will be announced on October 1st. There's a Gleam.io link down in the description to enter. Also, we have a second giveaway for a Nintendo Switch Lite. That's right, an actual Switch system. And then two second place winners could uh, do games of choice. I mean, they could choose Age of Calamity or uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe or Super Mario 3D All-Stars if they want. Maybe I'll end up giving away five copies. Who knows? But uh, to enter that, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon, uh, comment down below, like the video, follow on Twitter, all that jazz. There's a laundry list of things. Everything is linked and described down in the description. Please check it out so you can maximize your chance of winning. Joining Patreon.com as well uh, gets you 15 entries into every giveaway. All right. So what you're seeing on screen right now is an image of Super Mario 3D All-Stars in stock at Walmart. Now, I got this image directly off of the Nintendo Switch Reddit. The reason I wanted to feature this, and the reason we're, we're, we're talking about this, is because places like Walmart, even places like GameStop, they don't always pre-order out every copy, right? So I have, I have been at Walmart. I have pre-ordered games at Walmart. And they will have a number of pre-orders where they cut things off. So say they, they take 200 pre-orders and they cut it off. It does not mean the game will not be in stock. Now, there's another interesting thing about this. Super Mario 3D All-Stars is listed as $10 cheaper. USD, $10 cheaper at this particular Walmart. Now, it's possible that's a printing error and they're going to correct it, or it's possible that they're trying to advertise and get out there right now that they have a lot of copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Please come into our store. Because chances are, you know, while there's not a high profit margin on these games for retailers, that if you enter Walmart to buy Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you're going to buy other stuff. Maybe you'll buy more video games, maybe you'll buy used games, maybe you'll buy a system, maybe you'll buy groceries, whatever the case might be. Walmart just wants to entice people to get in the store. So it's almost like an ad for Walmart in this case too, because $10 cheaper in person, buy it at your local Walmart. I decided that I thought this was too good to be true. So I went to my own local Walmart. They too have Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the shelf listed for $49.94. Now they won't sell me it. I specifically asked. I went to them and said, I want to buy this game. And they told me, no, no, no. We know it's out there. We know it's on store shelves, but no, no, no. You got to wait. You got to wait for release day. So they were smart enough to know that. Man, they must have got the memo about this game, knowing that there was probably going to be a rush of people wanting this. So how do you get it? Well, whether it's GameStop, whether it's Walmart, whether it's whatever, you're going to want to be there at midnight. Now, I know it's a little weird right now with COVID. I understand. Some Walmarts aren't actually open that late. In that case, you're going to want to be at Walmart at opening. So you're going to have to kind of do check out your local listings for retailers, see what's going on. Um, maybe some of them will hold a midnight launch event, but I doubt it with this whole COVID thing. So you're just going to kind of have to call the stores and ask. Now, maybe you'll find that one employee that will be willing to sell you the game. So you could also try your luck with that right now. I doubt that's going to happen. But, I mean, I, I don't want to hold, like, thousands of people watching this video and rushing out to your local Walmart and begging them to sell you the copy you see on store shelves. You might find an employee willing to do it. It won't When they scan it in the computer, it won't let them do it. They'll have to manually enter it because the game's locked out on their computer. But, you know, you might get someone who will manually do it. So they'll look at the price and be like, oh, what was that, $49.94? All right, manual, $49.94, please pay out. So you might get lucky. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I'm just saying it's probably a waste of time. The point is, you want Super Mario 3D All-Stars physically? Don't forget the most traditional of traditional routes of getting it. 
and it, the most traditional traditional route isn't a pre-order. It's to show up when a store opens on launch day and buy an available physical copy. And I guarantee there won't be a limit on how many you can buy too. So if you want to buy like one, keep it sealed. Like in this case, this is a limited game, a limited run game. So I can see why you'd want to buy two copies, you know, one to play, one to keep sealed for collector's purposes. That's fine. They'll let you do it. They'll let you buy two of them. So yeah, you, you need to, you know, maybe Walmart's not your favorite retailer. It's fine. Um, you know, you could start checking your, your best buys. Uh, one thing you can do is there, there are websites out there that'll let you, you know, see if things are in stock, but they don't really tell you about local retail. The idea is you need to call up, at least call up all your local retail stores, Best Buys, Targets, whatever you happen to have near you, Mom and Pop Stats, and ask them, will they have extra copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars that aren't for pre-order? Like just straight up extra copies to buy on store shelves. Now you can first ask if they're, if they're taking pre-orders, of course, but assuming they're not, and they tell you, yes, we will have you know, a handful of them or, or 20 of them available. Great. Show up and get it. So I know there's been a lot of panic, a lot of people panicking. They cannot get this physically, but you can. You can. It, it's going to take some legwork. It's going to take some good old-fashioned legwork. I mean, you want to be absolutely sure. You can camp overnight, but I mean, don't, don't, <laughs> let's not get that crazy. I don't think it's going to be that hard to get the game. I don't think you're going to need to do something nuts like you would do on a Black Friday to get one of those killer 8k tvs for 200 dollars. only one in the whole store deals like it's not like that there's going to be more than one it's just you need to be smart about it you need to plan ahead you need to maybe i mean maybe you're going to be late to work that day or something late to school that day whatever you need to do if you really care about having a physical copy and i have to remind people the digital copy is not like it's sold out if you just care about playing the game and you don't care if you own it physically you can pre-order it right now on the eShop. And not only can you pre-order it, you can install the game on your Switch right now. You could download, have it fully installed, and then at some point, either at midnight or very early morning on launch day, it will be available to play. They'll you know, do a little patch update that has the key required to play it digitally. That's right. There are people that have the game literally on their Switches right now. They've even dumped it and tried to make a ROM out of it and failed because uh, no one has figured out a way to hack the keys yet to, to make the games work. So, yeah, it... It's out there. It's going to be available physically. You're going to be able to find it. It's going to be legwork. You're going to have to go out of your house in the middle of a pandemic uh, to get it done. But it's possible. You guys want this physically? There's a way. There is a way. That is why I'm making this video. I want people to know you can get this physically. I know so many people are worried. I've had so many messages, so many tweets at me, so many emails even about this. And I want to let you know. We have actual evidence, both from my experience and right here on the internet, on Reddit, that you'll be able to get it in store physically day one. Now, I don't know if it's going to last past day one. I don't know if it's even going to make it more than two hours in the day one. But you still have a chance if you were unable to get a pre-order in. All right? So let's breathe. Let's breathe. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video.